In this video, we're going to explain the common questions people have about different types of air conditioning systems, specifically single stage air compressors or single stage systems, two stage air conditioning, and variable speed air conditioning. So first off, what's single stage air conditioning? Well, most American homes with central air conditioning, they use a single stage compressor. These compressors have been standard for decades and they continue to represent the majority of AC units we have here um, in America. A single stage compressor turns on when indoor te temperatures exceed the temperature setting on your thermostat. So, for example, if you want your house to sit at 69 degrees Fahrenheit, you set it there and the AC will turn on and blast cold air until it reaches that point and then it's going to shut off and that's it. And so, single stage compressors, they always operate at 100% capacity. They're either on or they're off. Now, that's different than a variable speed air conditioning system. Now, a variable speed compressor, that's going to work differently. And in order to maintain an indoor temperature that's comfortable, it actually operates continuously, but it doesn't operate at 100% capacity. So it's often operating as low as 25% or 30% capacity. It's just constant. And so as a result, these types of air conditioning systems run for much longer cycles than a single stage unit. But at the same time, they're not operating at full capacity. So here's one way to think about it. Single stage compressors, they're just going to blast your home with cold air and then they're going to turn off and that's it. The variable speed compressors are going to blow smooth and steady with cold air and keep air circulating. So then what about a two stage compressor? Well, a two stage, or sometimes it's called a dual stage compressor, this is somewhere in between. Basically, it doesn't operate at a wide range of capacities, like a variable speed that adjusts accordingly, but it does vary its output somewhat. So it's got two, two levels instead of a single stage compressor that has one level. A two stage has two levels, high and low. And it basically runs at full capacity when you need it to, and then it'll run at a lower level when you don't. And these, these two stage units, they don't run as continuously as a variable speed, but they do turn off and on, um, just not as frequently as the single stage. So the variable speed compressors, these are the most advanced or sophisticated. Um, and at this point, you might be thinking, you know, why would I want an air conditioner that, that runs longer and then cools and doesn't actually put out all the cool all at once? Well, a variable speed compressor, its longer runtime actually dehumidifies your home more effectively because it's always keeping the air circulating in your home. And one of the biggest problems with a, a single stage compressor is that it's not running continuously. So humidity can increase in your home if you live in an area that's known for its humidity. And many people deal with the problem of humidity by jacking up the, the AC, right? So you'll go and you, you feel hot or you feel humid. And so you'll turn on the AC to let it blast. But actually that's not super efficient where a variable speed system, it's gonna keep air running continuously. It's not gonna be as humid. You're going to be able to feel comfortable at actually a higher temperature. So it doesn't need to blast as hard. So do you see where this is going? Basically, a single stage compressor tends to short cycle, as it might be called, and it actually draws a lot more electricity than a variable speed unit's going to. So that means that single stage air conditioners, they don't actually dehumidify your indoors very well, and they jack up the cost of your utility bill. And now a two stage compressor is a little bit better. It's a little bit more efficient, but it's still not as efficient as a variable speed air conditioner. And that's gonna run continuously, but it's gonna be more effective. And it's also gonna dehumidify your home. And as a result, you're not gonna have to lower your th thermostat as much. So it's not gonna have to work as hard. So therefore, your utility bills are actually going to be lower when you're using a variable, seat, a variable speed system. There's a couple different advantages and disadvantages, and a lot depends on the type of house you have and the climate that you live in. If you have more questions, though, about the different types of AC units and the one that might be right for you, especially if you live in the Northern Virginia area, that's where we're located. And you can find us at smallsolutionsllc.com, and we're happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you so much for watching our video.